Hey everybody, welcome to the limited edition version of the Toys for Games podcast. This is episode 107. We're recording this on Thursday, February 16th, 2017. I am one of your hosts, Josh Brown. I am joined by the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, Jason Greer. How are we doing tonight, Josh? Doing fantastic, my friend. Uh, we're doing this kind of out of order. We usually do this before the main show. We're doing it after the main show. So hold on to your butts. This might be interesting. <laughs> uh, we actually don't have much news to report on tonight. Uh, so it's going to be a really quick rundown of what's going on in the Toys to Life genre as we know it. Um I do employ you, though, to go check out the the main show that we put out. We did have a very special guest. We had Joey Noel, uh, the community manager for Kind of Funny, on. Uh, we got to talk about Lego Dimensions, Fast and the Furious, The Rock, more about The Rock. Uh, so it was good times. Um, so check out that interview um, if you have a few minutes to spare. But if not, we're going to give you the quick and dirty news of the week for the Toys to Life community um do want to thank our executive producer as always george torres and our show sponsor devin lachinsky you can find on youtube at youtube.com slash user slash d l a s c h two uh jason want to do a quick reminder real quick about what's going on with our disney infinity game nights yes if you are looking to complete the rest of your um achievements or um trophies for Disney Infinity before the servers get shut down. Again, all the offline stuff you can unlock forever in a day um, with stuff that requires online access. Um, you will need, obviously, to get that done before March 3rd. Um, I would get it done by March 2nd, the latest, because we don't know what time it's going to go offline um, on uh, March 3rd. But yeah, so you can get head to toysforgames.com um, or uh, facebook.com slash Infinity Inquirer. Um, you can get all the details um, for when we're having those events, but each Thursday and um, Saturday night we are playing um, each of the Disney Infinity games for each platform um, to get all the details there. Awesome. Um, quickly, what's going on with Amiibo these days? So, Amiibo, we did get some information from Amazon Japan, of all places. <laughs> uh, that shows uh, Alm and Celia Amiibo um, from the upcoming Fire Emblems Echoes. That's the dual pack here in the North America that's coming out. Um, this will be unlocking a special dungeon. What that means, we don't really know at this point. Um, but looks like they will be getting some kind of exclusive content, um, which, you know, most would say probably pretty, pretty good to have. Sure. To be fair, I didn't even know Fire Emblem had dungeons, so all this is <laughs> brand new news to me. Regardless, I'm excited. Those look like amazing figures. Yeah, they look great. Um, Skylanders. What's going on with Skylanders? So a couple things with Skylanders. Um, first of all, there's a new patch out. Um, you can go download that, get some bug, fi- bug fixes. Uh, but in addition to that, also get some um, preview some new content, including some new adventure packs that will be coming. Uh, there are two adventure packs that are listed. Um, and some hints of possibly a third one coming as well. Um, so head over to the new area um, in the main part of the game. Check those out. Obviously, once it's hit stores, you can unlock those areas. Uh, we did get some package shots for Wave 4 of Grave Cobbler, Pinata, and the Dark um, Individual Crystal. Uh, those will be coming soon. Amazon Italy posts some photos. If you want to see those, you can head out to uh, Matt, put them up on his Facebook and Twitter account so you can check them out there. Uh, and finally, we did get some news um, regarding the mobile game that we know is coming for Skylanders. Uh, we originally thought it might be coming in 2017, but it looks like it will be coming in the first half of 2018. Um, and this can be developed by a company called Com2US. C-O-M, the number two U-S, um, which has worked on a couple of different mobile games. Um, so it looks like it's going to be a RPG game, they're calling it. What all that entails? Who knows? Um, but um, <laughs> hopefully, be something interesting. Yeah, definitely. It's just nice to get little uh, tidbits of information about it for the next year that we're going to be waiting. So, um, Lego Dimensions. Lego Dimensions just had a big release or semi big release, I sh- guess I should say. What's going on? Yeah, Wave Seven Point Five just came out um, last week. Obviously, alongside the movie uh, for Lego Batman, which you should all see. It's hilarious. Um, yeah. arguably one of the best Batman movies there is. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely go check that out. Um, packs are available in store. Um, remember, Target and GameStop each have a timed exclusive. Those will be available everywhere um, probably next month. But if you want to get them now, you can head to those stores. Um, we did get some news this week um, regarding 
uh, Buttercup and Beetlejuice. Uh, some images leaked from German Toy Fair uh, that somebody took um, and then posted on a Facebook account um, on Wednesday, on Wednesday, right? It was Wednesday. Was uh, that yesterday? Yeah, uh, yesterday. Yep. <laughs> um, so you can take a look at Buttercup and Beetlejuice for the first time. Um, see what their Lego Dimensions minifigures look like. Uh, look great so far. Um, so I'm excited to see those. Glad we got to see them. Um, curious to see what the final designs will look like as well. Yeah. Wave 9 is going to be a pretty fun wave. It's going to be nuts. Yeah. Because we still have I mean, Teen Titans Go, right? Yeah, I mean, Wave 10 is still supposed to be coming as well. Okay. Um, but, um, so, I mean, we'll see. But it should be, even wait, you know, nonetheless, the two final waves will be lots of fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, and finally, uh, some Loot Crate news. We did um, get information regarding that, uh, as we talked about before. Uh, we thought there potentially might be some kind of exclusive content. Um, ended up just being uh, one of five fun packs we could get that have been previously out for uh, year one. Uh, so if you don't have those, here's a chance to get one of those five. Uh, you know, if you're looking just to get the Lego Dimensions piece, it might not be worth you getting the box. Uh, if you don't have any of those and you like the other content in the box, by all means, get it. Uh, I mean, the Batman cookie jar thing looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, so, but um, good news, maybe bad news, depending on how you look at it. Um, no exclusive content or anything kind of new with it. Right. If you're a LEGO Dimensions fan, don't be too excited for cool LEGO Dimensions swag, is what we're saying. Proceed with yes. caution, folks. Yes. Uh, finally, we have a little bit of uh, Light Seekers news this week. What's going on with Light Seekers? Yeah, so Light Seekers, the beta test officially did a launch yesterday on Wednesday uh, for those people who are in a closed beta test. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are not in the beta test, uh, they did post some news today. Um, first uh, look at the packaging for the Wave 1 content. It's two starter packs and other items. Um, and again, the packages look great. Um, they do a lot of color on there. It looks like if they ever make it to physical store shelves, they would really pop. Yeah. Um, but they look great. So even when you get it, you still feel like you're getting some good investment with your money. Um, mm-hmm. You're getting a high-end product and not something that's a, a basic Kickstarter project. Yeah. E- even the accessory boxes like looked really cool. So I, I could definitely see those on store shelves. Yeah. Uh, well, fantastic, Jason. Uh, we're going to cut this a little bit short here because you, sir, need to go to bed because you are going to Disney World tomorrow and need all the rest you can. Get before your big weekend. Can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So uh, safe travels, my friend. Uh, where can people find you? Yeah, so you can always follow me personally on Twitter, twitter.com slash Jason Inquires. Um, Jason Inquires is also my Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook account, so you can always check me out there as well. Um, and finally, uh, if you're looking just for the Toys of Life-centric news, you can always head to Brick Inquirer and Skylanders Inquirer. Fantastic. You can find me personally on Twitter at the noise with a Y. Uh, follow the show on Twitter at Toys for Games. You could email us, podcast at toysforgames.com. You could go over and join the awesome Facebook group we have going on, facebook.com slash group slash toys for games. Our website is toysforgames.com. And if you'd like to support us and what we're doing here, for you guys, the community, you could do so over at Patreon, patreon.com slash toys for games. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody for supporting us. Thank you to Joey Noel, the community manager from Kind of Funny, for joining us on the main show. Uh, go check that out. And uh, Jason, like I said, safe travels. Have a great weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure of it. Can't wait to hear all about it. And for everybody else out there, happy hunting, collectors.